beautiful stuff just hiding in the background. Uh, a little bit of a tan gnome just sitting there. With, and they're just kind of like moving around shifting because things have been a little bit cramped after being in a box for so long. But upon hearing a axe hit the ground, Applesock just kind of goes... Applestock's a pirate. Who? TT. I'm Applestock. It's me. TT is a pirate. Oh yeah, yeah, Applestock. Yeah. No, TT's just a um, a nickname that we used to, to to call them. Of course, we were immediately met with you know basically a thieves guild that Applestock used to run with, and that they didn't tell us about. <laughs> and... Nobody asked. Well, uh, I was about to prank Cled real bad, or try to at least. <laughs> oh yeah, no, people come out, and Cled comes out, and yep, hat and coat and boots, which are really, really not the right size for him. And, and as soon as Cled oh, comes Apple. out, no. Applestock is going to jump from the co crow's nest and use her ring to sprout those dragonfly wings and go, Introducing the one, the only, Captain Flynn, our trusted leader on the sea cucumber, the flying foot yeah. pirates, <laughs> Captain <laughs> Flynn, and then just slowly float down to I'm like, not everybody was doing this. We'll suck, we'll pull out two daggers and stab it into the bags and just like slit it open and then just jump from there. But still pointing my arrow at, my explosive arrow, at the rope and say, all right now, I swear, if you do not let go of my captain right here, right now, I will blow up this whole kitten caboodle and take us all out. Anything is possible as long as you have the imagination of a yes. dragon. <laughs> she thinks of all the things in their life specifically the times that people have said like oh you're not really good enough all of the passive aggressiveness and then thinks about what's new and different with this new crew of everything they have said is genuine and wonderful and so kind and how much they believe 